Okay, guys, I just wanted to make a quick comparison video. So, this happened December 1st of 2016. Okay, and a man fatally shot his sister's boyfriend after she is beaten by him. Okay, and this happened in Chicago, Illinois. So, Alonzo Reddick shot his sister's boyfriend to death a year ago because he believed that the boyfriend had beaten her up. Prosecutors said Thursday um, they charged him with the murder and those charges were filed. So, Reddick was 21 years old. He's accused of fatally shooting the 23-year-old man. His name was Lamont Alexander in the 1400 block of West 21st Street in Lawndale on the afternoon of December 4th, 2015. Reddick had taken a phone call earlier that day and learned that Alexander had beaten up his sister. He found him on the street and they said they started to fight. Another person grabbed Alexander from behind and pulled him away. But Reddit took out a handgun and hit Alexander in the face three times before fatally shooting him in the head once. Now, Mystical's sister was stabbed in the neck 16 times and strangled, okay? Her murder was way more brutal. This girl was just beaten up. She's still alive. Brothers, some brothers don't play about their sisters. I don't care how cowardly you think they are. And this boy's sister, I don't know, it doesn't state how old his sister was, and it really doesn't matter. It was his sister. And for Mystical to believe that Damon Neville killed his sister and made this rap song about it, he only promoted that song to make millions. I don't care what y'all say. This was a brutal murder, and, and Mystical said it out of his mouth. The way she was, what happened? What man says that he forgives and calls this nigga's family? I'm sorry, y'all. So y'all can keep saying, I don't know what I'm talking about. And, um, you know, I'm making up stuff or whatever y'all want to say in the comment section. Tanya Thompson, thank you, baby, for supporting me. One of my another good subscribers. Once I'm able to go live, you and Shatavia will be my moderators. And we're going to get the trolls up out of here. Now, I made this little video because I have to go to work to show you guys just how real it is. Mystical sounds so real on Murderer. I really felt him when I first heard the song and really was able to listen to it and understand how men are killing their girlfriends and husbands kill their girlfriends, how brothers feel. The song and what we see today, and this is another thing, why is Mystical coming out now? Now, I'm not saying that he's coming out because Vlad interviewed him. Vlad brought the question up. Mystical did not you know, just bring it out himself. But however, he did an interview with Unsung. And these are just the things that I'm pointing out, guys. Mystical story has changed, including Murderer. It's in black and white. It's, it's, it's a song. What he's saying in the song, what he said on Vlad TV, and what he's saying on Unsung in these interviews do not match up. They just simply don't match up. So for all the trolls, why don't you guys listen to my videos Go and look at the Vlad interview. Go and look at the Unsung interview. Pull it up on your computer, on your uh, on your uh, smart TV. And then go and listen to Murderer and tell me if all of those stories sound the same. The only story that has never changed, and this, this man has did one interview, was the accused murderer who was acquitted of these murder charges. There was no evidence even showing that he did the murder. He wasn't acquitted for nothing, guys. Now, that only leaves one other person. So, you mean to tell me that Mystical now was in the house with his girlfriend and she didn't hear anything? Oh, my God. Why was she not investigated? Who is she? Okay? Who is she? In my honest opinion, that was a lie. That was a lie. First, he takes himself out of the house. Then, he comes back into the house. Now, he's saying he's leaving out of the house and seeing the door open. It just doesn't make any sense, guys. And brothers love their sisters. Thanks for watching.